Twin Cities Collective. I'm so excited today to talk about something that most of my clients have a real, real struggle with, and that is planning out content. Now, a lot of times, some of the content you can create is in the moment and it's something you post that day. But to save you time and just to kind of start planning ahead and maybe batching some of your content, it's important to kind of have some ideas in mind for at least the next month or so. So what I'm going to be teaching you guys today is my project management tool. It's called ClickUp. It is a free software that I use to plan out everything from my podcast to my blog to these videos. And it's something that I want to show you guys on my computer. Um, there is both a phone app and a website as well as a desktop version. And what I love about ClickUp more so than other apps like Trello and Asana that I've tried before is that it's very much a project based system where there's deadlines and it's more about actually getting stuff done versus just lists. So I'm really excited to show you guys ClickUp. I'll head over to my computer and show you guys how I use it to plan out my content. I just wanted to start sharing a little bit about ClickUp. I used to use Trello um, for many years and I recently discovered ClickUp and found I liked it a lot better. Um, to me, tr uh, Trello is more about just making lists and I feel like this one really does like the next level of actually having you check off lists and actually do them with due dates and such. Um, they have all three options on here for both lists boards and calendars, as well as additional workflows like Gantt charts and other things if you have a pro account. But you can see that I actually prefer mostly using the board version so I can actually see. So right now I have all of my content laid out, but I'm going to specifically cut to video. So before I do that, I want to show you. So I have five different spaces, which is what they call like almost like bigger projects. So I've got like my coaching clients, um, one of my clients, content. So this is video, podcast, blog, etc. I've got my workshops and events. So this is mostly for when I'm planning like in-person events. I'm figuring out, you know, what food am I getting, that kind of stuff. It's kind of planning out that. And then to-dos and resources is really like my shopping list and, you know, things I have to do at home. So that's more personal stuff, like going to the library, that kind of stuff. But with content, I really like having it laid out where I have four different categories. I've got the website, so that's the blog, marketing, updating Dubsado, which is my uh, client manager, my podcast, so planning out my workflow with actually who's going to be on the podcast and you know where are we in terms of episodes, and I'll show you guys that video, social media posts, and then my email list. So with the email list, I actually um, have a recurring task every week to update my email subscribers that come in from Facebook or just seeing um, all that and then actually sending out my weekly email. With social media posts, that's like planning out photo shoots and such so that I actually have ideas for Instagram posts. With my video, as you can see here, I have my TikTok, my personal videos, which are kind of back burner. I'm not doing as many of those. And then my this week's tips under 10. You can see right now as I'm filming this on Wednesday, my tips under 10 goes out tomorrow at 9 a.m. by 9 a.m. So that is something that I've actually set a deadline or a due date. And you can see on the calendar, if you look at it, Tomorrow I have how to use ClickUp. And then if you see the full calendar with all of the different spaces, you can see all of the different projects I'm working on and deadlines. So this has been really helpful for me because I'm not very organized at all. Like I really, this is a lot for me, but it's helping me become more productive, which I really, really think for me is needed to stay sane because otherwise I keep everything in my head. So I'll show you guys quickly a little bit more about ClickUp. Um, I'm going to talk specifically about what I'm doing. So you can see I have some overdue tasks. I have to actually just check those off. It lets me know. Sometimes I do them and then it takes me a day to actually check them off of ClickUp. Um, but you can see that I have different to-dos. They have some new features. They're coming out with new features all the time, so I don't even know what half of them are. Um, but one thing I wanted to also show you is documents. So um, actually, first I'll show you dashboards. So dashboards actually are the things, all the things you have to do in actual dashboards or like, um, you know, charts. So you can see like, for example, how many recurring tasks I have. You can see how many tasks total. 
the priority breakdown. So which ones are the most important? So I have 15 high priority. I've got, you know, that kind of thing, just figuring out, my, you know, active coaching. I've got my TikTok ideas. You can see which are closed, which I need to actually move those off. Um, you can see like this is an example, how to organize your passwords. That was a blog post that I already did. So I'm gonna have to check that off. So just knowing that I have recurring posts, that kind of stuff, you can see, and I need to update some of this. Um, so that's just something to think about is uh, all, of, all of the things you can see. But the other last thing I wanted to share with you guys is actual documents. So you can actually, instead of having like a Google Drive or Microsoft Word, you can actually store your documents inside of ClickUp. So for, for example, I, and you can have actual like groups of them over on the side within, and you can see these are pages that are separate uh, this is just a framework I found in a book that I wanted to have as a resource. I have a bunch of different documents. Um, but if you go back to the main tasks, which is like the main uh, way you can look at ClickUp, you can see that inside of content, I have four documents. So for me, as someone who is super unorganized, I like to use ClickUp to store a lot of my ideas. Um, and so it's something, and down here you can actually add a new task right here quickly to something. You can assign people, add attachments like Google. Um, you, can, you can see there's like Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, that kind of thing, adding to each one. Um, I'll show you guys an example within one actual task is you can actually see different ideas I have, that they're small ideas. I'm just brainstorming, brain dumping, and actually just sort of have in the background, I've set my priority to normal. I've added a tag called tips under 10. So I'm really trying to figure out, okay, what's my next tips under 10? I get feedback from you guys. I get DM sent to me saying, hey, can you do something on this? And I go, I'll add it to the list. So for me having, for example, my podcast workflow, a lot of this is I have a lot of recurring tasks. Since I didn't publish a podcast yesterday, I'm taking the week off. I just have too much to do right now. Um, I, you know, can check that off and it auto recurs to do it next week, um, on Tuesday. Cause I upload on Tuesdays. Um, I have lists of potential guests and people that, um, I just want to reach out to. And then you can see, I have different places where I can move people along. So once I record an episode with someone, I move them over. So these are two people that are scheduled right now. They are scheduled, so I'm actually going to be recording with them. Once those are recorded, we move on to the next category and so on. Um, with publishing and uploading, I have a checklist of all the things I have to do. And then I also have over here again, the social media upload. So sharing my podcast episode to Twitter, sharing it to Pinterest, etc. So this is kind of how I use uh, ClickUp. I also do it from my blog posts. So for me, it's really about brainstorming and adding due dates to things. So as you guys are creating ideas for content, having a place to store them is really, really powerful. So if you haven't checked out ClickUp or Asana or Trello or whatever you want to use, again, this is free, which is awesome. And I'm obsessed with it. Uh, you can definitely check it out. Again, I'm not affiliated with them. I've never gotten paid by them. I'm not even on the pro plan. You can also upgrade to the pro plan and you get a lot more different like views. You can get like Gantt charts I mentioned and stuff. So you can actually do a lot more with the pro. I'm it's $5 a month. I'm considering upgrading, but, um, it has basically everything I need right now. So we'll see, um, if I really go all in <laughs> on ClickUp, but, um, yeah, so I hope this was helpful for seeing how I kind of use ClickUp, uh, to plan out my, all my content that I make every week. So.